shave off the interlock for a flat, contact surface if desired. Be sure to set your corner forms first. Lay straight forms from each corner working towards the center of the wall. Zip or wire tie vertical joints. Ensure that forms are on layout lines and cut the block to size. Install horizontal rebar as per your specs using contact lap slices. Webs are specifically designed to hold steel in place with no tying using a contact splice. During your first course, the notches should be closest to the EPS panels or as specified. For your second course, notches are over towards the center. The web should always interline. Rebar patterns repeat on alternate courses, allowing space for vertical reinforcement to be held in place. Place after the wall has been stacked to the desired height. Install vertical rebar between horizontal rebar, creating a basket weave. Start at the corners, placing corner blocks in the opposite direction, creating an offset in the vertical seam. Stack straight forms working from the corners towards the center. Place the cut block at the same location as the first course. Press down on the forms to ensure a tight interlock. And then complete by installing horizontal rebar, offsetting it from the course below. After the second course, using a laser level, shoot the top of the wall. If it's over one quarter of an inch off, either shim or trim. Ensure the walls are on the layout lines. Use low expansion spray foam adhesive every 6 to 12 inches to secure the forms to the footing or SOG. Use a continuous bead of foam if you had cut the interlock off the bottom of the first course of blocks. When foaming under large low spots, secure the entire area. Allow the adhesive to set for 30 to 60 minutes. Remember, start in the corners and alternate the direction of the forms for each course. Work towards the center of the wall. Keep offset stack joints in the same place. And place horizontal rebar as per your specs. Start pouring approximately two feet away from a corner, then work around the wall parameter in a circular manner. Always pour at a steady rate in lifts of three to four feet maximum at a time. Start two to three feet away from the corner center. Make sure you pour concrete at approximately the same height on both sides of the corner. The concrete should not be poured for a subsequent lift around the same corner for a minimum of one hour. Ensure proper concrete consolidation, eliminating pockets and entrapped air. And stop short of pouring in a second corner by two to three feet.